Hi, this is Mike from BookUp.com. Stockfish 14 just came out, and if you're using a Windows version of Chess Openings Wizard, say the Express or Professional version, you may want to upgrade to Stockfish 14 because it's faster and better. Let me walk you through the highlights of how to do that. So whenever you have an ebook open in Chess Openings Wizard, any version, uh, for Windows anyway, you want to go to the Edit menu, select Program Preferences. From there, you'll see a number of tabs, right? The tab we're interested in is one labeled Engines. Uh, whenever we're dealing with a UCI engine, there should be at least a startup command of UCI here. If it's there, just leave it alone. No need to touch it. Engine type should always be set to UCI for Stockfish. Um, the engine nickname, we'll get back to that in a minute, but right now it's set to Stockfish 1064 bit. The actual name of the file we're running is down here called Stockfish underscore 10 underscore x64 dot exe. And that dot exe is very important. It has to be an exe file to run on Windows. And then the folder it's placed in is also very important. Right now, uh, by default, that would be drive C, program files x86, and the bookup folder. Inside of there, the Chess Openings Wizard folder, which could be Chess Openings Wizard Express or Professional 2016. Inside there, the Engines folder, and inside there, Stockfish. Don't worry about that right now. It'll become more apparent as we go and place the file there. Ultimately, you will be using the Select Engine File button to select our new EXE file we're about to download. So let's go over to a, an internet browser, like Firefox or Chrome or what have you, Internet Explorer, and download the latest version of Stockfish 14. Here I'm looking at my internet browser and in the search bar I will type in Stockfish 14. Google comes up with Stockfish 14 on the stockfishchess.org site. Let's click there. There it talks about the pleasure of announcing Stockfish 14. The very first link you find there is stockfishchess.org slash download. Sounds good. Let's download it. We go there and Windows is the most popular option for most people. So they have give you two options within Windows. One is one that works faster and only on modern computers, and one that's eh, more compatible, but maybe a bit slower and works on the vast majority of computers. As I am a safety nut, I'm going to pick the second option, but you're free to choose either one. So I click on there to download 64-bit, and it should offer me the option to save Stockfish 14 Win x64.zip. That's not an .exe file, is it? That's a .zip file, so let's deal with that. First, we'll actually save it. That should go to our Downloads folder. I can see it downloading over here in my browser. Now I'm gonna flip over to File Explorer in Windows and take a look at my Downloads folder. Sure enough, my Downloads folder shows me the Stockfish 14 Win x 64zip file. If you don't see it, you can either search for that name by scrolling down by file name, or what I like to do is click on Date here and it will sort the files by the last change date. And so this should be the most recently changed file. So it should appear somewhere on the top, if not next to these other folders. So that's what I want. Here I'm gonna right click and open this with Windows Explorer. Once inside this compressed folder, I can double click on this folder, which contains everything. And there it is, the Stockfish 14 x64.exe that we need. So I will highlight it by clicking on it once, but I will right click on it and select copy because I want to be able to paste it into that folder we saw earlier. So I copy it. Now, the $64,000 question, where do I paste it? Well, I'm gonna go over here to drive C because I remember that's where uh, the files were stored for the programs on this particular version of Windows. So C, and then there was a program x86 folder. There we go, program files x86. I go in there and I remember that the next folder was bookup. Go in there. Next, of course, was what version of uh, Chess Openings Wizard you're using. Say it was uh, the Express version we're looking at or the professional version. I can go in there. Then there's a folder called engines. I go in there. And then there are folders for different types of engines. I wanna go in the Stockfish folder and I can see the other engines it currently has. Here, I right click and select paste. It tells me I need administrative permission to copy this because it's an EXE and I'm copying it into the program 86 folder. So you might have to have permission to do this. So I continue. Sure enough, it's copying it. And now, in just a second here, I will have Stockfish 14 x64 right next to where I used to have Stockfish 
10x64, which is the one I was currently running. So let's switch back to Chess Openings Wizard and select that file. Back in Chess Openings Wizard, again, I went to the Edit menu, Program Preferences, Engine Tabs, and now I can come down to Select Engine File. And now I can see all the engines that are available, and Stockfish 14x64 is now available. I'll open that one. It should set to it. I'll click OK to save the change. And here I notice that my nickname is still set to Stockfish 1064. Let's go fix that. So I can go Edit and Program Preferences again, back to the Engines tab. Over here, it filled in engine nickname UCI Stockfish 14, so I can just change that. Maybe I'll capitalize S of Stockfish, and I'll just change it to Stockfish space 14, and that should save that. There we go. So I can change it. The also change it here. So I start the engine, and sure enough, I have Stockfish 1464 running. There you go. Uh, it's a little bit more complicated with Macintosh. If you stuck with me through this video this far, you may want to wait for an update for Macintosh because back in that downloads page, uh, they had you do something really, really gnarly from a technical standpoint to download the latest engine. So if you're in the Macintosh crew, you might just wait for a free update to Chess Openings Wizard.